I have 31 M&M &M tattoos, 20 portraits, and I would say I'm maybe 60% covered. My journey as an M&M &M fan and the tattoos in general has been expensive. A ballpark figure for how much I've spent. My portrait tattoo was 700 pound at that time. I've got 20 portraits when the record broke. I've had my mental health questioned. I've had, I'm an obsessive stalker. This was the one that sort of started the big tattoos. I feel like I walked in one person and walked out another. I have got 31 M&M &M tattoos, including 20 portraits. I then started looking for clothes that actually showed it off. All I was bothered about was that people could see the tattoo. I've always sort of had confidence issues with my body and what I look like. I guess it was my way of standing out and saying this is who I am. The first time I heard of Eminem, I was about 14. We went on a family holiday to Spain and I remember lying by the pool and Stan came on. It just blew me away. So I've seen Eminem live seven times. I have traveled to New York, which was incredible. I haven't met him yet. It is obviously a lifelong dream. In 2019, we went to Abu Dhabi to see him perform there, and I met his photographer. He came over, he took photos on his phone, and told me that he'd shown Eminem, started taking photos on his professional camera, and then got my contact details. I was on cloud nine. My journey as an Eminem fan and the tattoos in general has been expensive. A ballpark figure for how much I've spent. My portrait tattoo was £700 at that time. I've got 20 portraits. When it comes to the Guinness World Records, I guess it had come out of conversations with people and sort of thinking, you know, I bet nobody has as many faces of the same person. I actually think they were kind of excited by my record because it's different, it's visual. So I think it was maybe like a week later, I got the email saying you've got the record and I was just like, oh my, I was absolutely buzzing. I was in papers, I was on radio. American people started getting in touch with me, you know, CNN wrote about me, Fox News. My social media went off the scale. It was a massive buzz. I feel like people obviously just see a photo of me and then completely make their own judgments. So I've had my mental health questioned. Um, I have had, you know, I'm an obsessive stalker. Who would want to sleep with her? Who would want to go out with her with another man's face all over her? I'm a mum, I have my own business, my own house, I have a dog, like I'm just a normal person. Obviously I've had the negativity, but I've had a lot more positives from my tattoos and sharing my tattoos. I met my fiance Chris through basically my tattoos, so it's really been life changing for me in that way. Today we're going to have a chat with my fiance Chris who's in Boston and we're going to meet my friend Ali. She's actually never seen my leg tattoos so we're going to show her, see her reaction. I love Nikki's tattoos. It's, it's her body, it's, it's her canvas and I've seen the difference when I first met her and the difference now in her with having her tattoos. She's become so confident and in yourself. Mm -hmm. This is my newest one. Oh. It's so realistic. We've got it's to finish him off. We're going to put like his hand there and stuff. But, yeah. But you haven't seen like any of these no. close up, have you? No. Wow. Yeah. It's beautiful. I think you're beautiful. Oh, thank you. Chris is massively supportive of my tattoos because he met me when I had most of them, to be honest, and he's an Eminem fan as well. We had met on Instagram. We just instantly connected and we kept talking and messaging literally every day, all day. Long distance is incredibly difficult, I'm not gonna lie. We spoke for a year and a few months without ever having actually met. So we met for the first time last June, June last year. From there, we just knew we wanted to be together and we knew it was real and here we are today getting married in less than a month. We are going to Detroit 
which is obviously Eminem's place of where he lives and his passion. The fact that we are going to go there together for the first time and we're actually getting married there is like a big thing in itself. We're getting married at St Andrew's Hall, which is one of the first places that Eminem performed. And we're then going to go to Mum's Spaghetti afterwards, which is obviously Eminem's fast food spaghetti place. I am genuinely happy with how I look now. I am very happy to look in the mirror. I have found happiness with my fiance. It's brought that, it's been life-changing in that way. So it's been really nice that they've been on the journey.